Good evening, everyone. Hope everyone is well. Thank you for joining our daily halacha. We'll continue with the halachas of the three weeks when it comes to uh, musical instruments, music, and dancing. So, if it's there's actually it's it's uh, since the time of the destruction of the base of Mikdash, the Chazal, Chazal re- instituted that we should not listen to music at all, really, according to some poskim. It's not so simple that we're able to listen to music at all. Uh, because the destruction, it's hard for us to feel. We have to try as best as we can. But the destruction of the Beis HaMikdash left such a such a, an emptiness, such a void in our lives. I mean, it's hard 2,000 years later to, to fully feel it and comprehend it. We should try during the three weeks a little bit um, to, to, to realize what we lost and to mourn that. But the fact is we lost such a tremendous thing with the Beis HaMikdash that we used to have and the connection with Hashem that the Chazal instituted that we cannot listen to music um, in the Gemara it's, it's brought down in the Gemara uh, however the Chachamim did not forbid uh, singing songs of praise to Hashem when it comes to singing songs of praise to Hashem so then that would be permitted um, I'm sorry I forgot, I forgot to mention even is even an opinion that says you know, one's not allowed to sing, not even sing songs. These are levels that maybe it's hard for us to, to 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 really feel, but that's the facts of one opinion in the Gemara. Um, Chazal did say, however, that in terms of like I mentioned just a moment ago, that singing songs of praise to Hashem is okay. And when it comes to a a simcha, a wedding, or a or a, uh, a bris mila, that is permitted. Everybody holds that's permitted to sing and to play music uh, because it has a double um, uh, has, a, has a double uh, uh, two things going for it first of all singing praise to Hashem which is a reason to to be matir to allow and also it's a simcha shal mitzvah so it's another reason why it would be allowed to sing and play music okay now um, when it comes to the three weeks there's different opinions amongst amongst the Rishonim um, but uh, in terms of uh, l- listening to music just for fun, without any mitzvah, but this is a machlok as we've shown about this. Okay, but during the three weeks, uh, and, and, and it, the truth is really, t- it's a machlok when it comes to live music uh, or recorded, mu- recorded music, is different opinions in the, in the postkim. The Shulchan Aruch says to listen to, to, to play musical in- instruments or listen to live music is forbidden the whole year unless it's for a mitzvah. Um, okay, we're, we're lenient, but okay, we, we are lenient for uh, many people are lenient, but uh, that's what the Shulchan Aruch brings down. Okay, um, during the three weeks, however, it is forbidden to listen to music, um, play music, or listen to music during the three weeks at all. Uh, when we mentioned earlier the Sephardi Minhag was to allow weddings during the three weeks up until Rosh Chodesh Av um, and music would be permitted that is because it's at a simcha that's at, it would be at a wedding but just in general to listen to music um, Rav Vajra brings down that it's the, the Minhag Sephardim is that it's forbidden to do so it's forbidden to listen to music uh, during the three weeks that's the Ashkenazi Minhag as well it's forbidden to listen to music starting from Yudzai and uh, Tammuz until after Tisha B'av. Okay, um, that even that even applies to recorded music. Not only live music, even recorded music is forbidden as well. Dancing as well would be forbidden. Uh, if, the, if it's during the three weeks at a Sephardi, at a Sephardi wedding, then dancing would be permitted. But just just in general, just to dance out of out of joy or, or whatever, that would be forbidden during the three weeks, uh, as we have to um, limit uh, limit our simcha during this time. Uh, like we mentioned before, during a, uh, a celebration, uh, it's a mitzvah, a wedding, or a, or a bris milah, it would be permitted to have music, um, uh, according to the Sephardi minhag. But Ashkenazi minhag is even during a uh, even during a simcha, it's forbidden to have any music. Now, if somebody is a musician, so if he play, it, so if he if he, if he play if he earns his living by playing music. He would be allowed to play music for a non-Jew, only for a non-Jew, during the three weeks, ex- up until Rosh Chodesh Av, and inc- not including Rosh Chodesh. He's not allowed to. Once Rosh Chodesh Av hits, he would not be. 
once Rosh Chodesh Av hits, he would not be allowed to uh, play music even for his Parnasa anymore. Um, and he would also not, on Shavas of Tammuz, on the fast of Tammuz, he also would not be allowed to play music, even if it's for his livelihood. But from after Shavas of Tammuz until Erev Rosh Chodesh Av, it would be permitted for a musician to play music, again, only by a non-Jewish venue for a non-Jewish customer. Okay, thank you for joining. Everybody be well. Have a wonderful evening. Take care.